Stock locations can be found under the Administration tab, Stock Locations. The Stock Location screen is used to define the possible locations where an item can be located. This can be the location within a gallery, such as Drawer 7, Shelf 10, or East Wall, or within the company organization, uh, such as uh, Santa Fe, Carmel, Miami, or Sedona. The Stock Location should not be confused with the Gallery Locations, which is found under Administration, Company tab and a uh, gallery may have several different locations that they may want to separate transactions for. Every new profile will have some default stock locations already set up. Um, these cannot be modified or deleted. Uh, if you try, you'll get a prompt saying that you can't edit a system location. To add a location, just click on the Add button and just type in the new location. For example, I'm going to type in Gallery B and then hit OK. In many cases, the stock location is used to indicate the status of the piece. For example, when a piece is sold but not yet delivered to a client, the location might change from stock to on order. And then a stock location of sold indicates that you fulfill the order. And obviously when you just outright sell a piece, it goes to the sold location automatically. Uh, same thing if you put an item on RTA or uh, on approval. Um, or anywhere else. Uh, the default stock locations will automatically go to those locations. And any locations that you manually enter, you'll have to manually move to that location. There are several ways to see the location of an item. Uh, one way is by the item grid under the location column. Uh, it'll tell you where the item location is. You'll notice that some item line items have blank areas where it doesn't have a location. Two possibilities. One is it's a non-stock item, and non-stock items do, are not physical inventory. They're either services or um, uh, framing. Um, and then limited editions. There may be many editions for one title, so we can't really display a location for multiple editions. For example, this golf course sunset. If I open it up and go to the editions tab, I have many editions. If I wanted to see which actual location it's at, I'll have to click on the edition and go to the stock locations tab. And if it was sold for that edition, the, uh, the location would say sold or return the artist. You can also export all your inventory, even your filtered inventory, to an Excel file or a CSV file, and that way you can see all the locations, even the limited editions in one area. So I'm just going to hit the export button, press the export, Save it to my desktop. I'll call it All Inventory. And then when you open up the file, you'll have all the information, including your location. And notice how the limited editions are all in one area. And that way you can always sort uh, using Excel any way you want. You're also able to just click on the column location column and then you can sort by alphabetical or by reverse alphabetical by double clicking on it twice. To manually move an item, uh, just go ahead and double click on a line item, go to the stock locations and press the button where it says click here to add new line item. Notice how Masterpiece will automatically create another line item. Um, it's always going to be from the location it was at. So when it was first entered in the system, it went to stock and then from stock to your new location. So I'm just going to go to Gallery B and I'm going to hit Save Location and then hit OK. And the item is now in Gallery B. You can see right here. So very easy to move locations.